What's going on everyone? This is Impulse and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial for the door lock mechanism I used on my iTrade shop on the Hermitcraft server and let me show you how this works. Basically all you need is your private key that you make with a book and quill and then when you toss it on the floor it will go through a system and open the door. It stays open for a little bit to give you a chance to pick up your book and walk through the door. So of course this would be an actual building that you enter and the way it works is basically there's a hopper system with the filter on it that's going to detect that you're actually throwing in the item you're supposed to and so if I try to throw in anything else it's not going to take it and the best part about this is it's a absolutely private key so nobody else can clone or copy or anything like that so if I have other books that are very similar they won't even work you can see this one it's also named I key the written contents is the same but it's written by somebody else trying to mimic or copy my key and if I try to use that it doesn't work. Even if somebody takes a copy of the original key, you can see here it says copy of original, that also doesn't work. So only you can make the key and nobody else can get in unless you give them the key. So it's absolutely flawless in that respect. So let's go ahead and dive right into the tutorial for this. All right, so first let's talk about the materials you're gonna need. Um, you can see them in my inventory right here. So if you wanna take a pause right now or a screenshot, uh, that's all you're really gonna need to build this thing up. You will need an anvil to be able to name some filter items so that uh, you can make them unique. And of course a book and quill to create your keys. So you're gonna need a few of these because you're gonna wanna make a few keys for yourself. And just a quick little note, once you create your books, go ahead and open them up and read them and close them uh, before you start using them as filters because it actually does add an extra NBT tag to the book itself that kind of marks that it's been read. So you're going to want to do that for each one you create. So next you want to just pick the block that you're going to use as the door. So we'll pick this block right here. We want to do a temporary block underneath and then we're going to put some droppers facing up. So you put a dropper right there, hold shift, you can place another one on top of that, make sure they're both facing up. We can get rid of that block now. On the bottom dropper here, we're going to put a hopper facing into that. You got to shift again to place that. Uh, we're going to need more temporary blocks right here and we're going to put a hopper facing into that. So make sure your hoppers are facing this way, one's facing out, one's facing into the bottom dropper there. And then we're going to make our item filter. So two Two blocks there, temporary block underneath, one underneath that, and one there. We're going to punch that block out because that's where we're going to place a repeater on one tick here and put a torch on that side. Then we're going to need our comparator coming off of this hopper here, redstone dust going down, and that will create your item filter. So now we can put these filter balls. So you want something that stacks to 16 in here and named in an anvil. So like I said, people can't just throw in whatever they want and then also start off by putting one of your keys in. So now we also need to make a little dropper elevator on the side here so we can just steal signal from that with a torch there, block on top, and then another torch right there. So that will create your dropper elevator, which will make it so that we can actually get our key back when we toss it in. So let's toss one in, and that's going to go ahead and just be a, a buffer right there. So you're going to need that extra book, of course. And then now once you throw it in, we get it back. And so now we need to make it so it actually opens the door. So we want to create a little pulse extender, and we're going to build out a few blocks right here. And we're gonna put a torch right on this guy right there, or not a torch, a repeater, on four ticks. And then we're gonna go into uh, some redstone dust with a comparator facing that way, comparator facing that way, a little more redstone dust right there, and a block right there. Now we can torch tower this signal up right into the door. And that's it. So now we can go ahead and toss in our book. We'll see that the door is going to click and stay open for a little bit until that pulse extender uh, wears out. And now we can, of course, encase the door. So, uh, you know, we have an actual building around it. And this is up to you, of course, how you want to style it. Uh, but then we do have a little bit of cleanup you're going to want to do out front here. So this is where the carpet kind of comes in handy because we need to cover up the redstone. And a lot of this redstone you can cover up safely with blocks right here here and here uh, but these ones right here we're gonna need carpet for so um, right here we'll put some carpet you got to double layer of that one you don't want to put a solid block right here for sure so be careful of that because it will cut off the signal and that will uh, break your item filter so that's not good so yep two carpets there stacked and then we can just put carpet over that that and then that that and that um, now of course you're probably going to want to make it look a little better and even it out um, so that's all up to you and then I also kind of recommend maybe uh, putting a different colored carpet where your hopper is just so it's a little easier to see where you're supposed to throw things uh, so of course this is all up to you guys on how you want to style it but that's the basic mechanism design 
laid out for you working. Let's make sure it's still working properly. I didn't break anything. There you go. We can walk through. And now only we have the private key to get in this building. So that's it, guys. Pretty simple. So that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go. With that said, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.